Hi there, it's Jean Leston again. And it's now day three of the pilgrimage to Paris. We have now managed to do over 50 long miles and we are currently staying in a gorgeous church, St. John's Church in Burgess Hill. We've now crossed the North Downs and we head to over the South Downs tomorrow towards Brighton. Now the reason you didn't hear from me yesterday is because like everyone else we woke up to the news of the terrible uh, terrorist attacks in Paris and we were just reeling from the shock. Um, terrible, terrible news to wake up to and we have been keeping the people of Paris in our prayers ever since. Now what is that going to do to the pilgrimage to Paris? We don't really know yet. No doubt it will have some impact but we don't quite know in what way, shape, or form. Uh, we certainly hope to continue all the way to Paris, um, and we are hoping that will be possible, but the situation is under review, and we understand that a decision will be made probably tomorrow by the pilgrimage organizers, whether we're gonna be continuing on to Paris or not. But um, certainly everyone here, everyone on the pilgrimage, feels this is uh, now even more of a time for voices of faith to come to Paris uh, in the spirit of love and peace. Uh, we're needed even more. So that is our hope. Um, now, what have we been doing as pilgrims? Well, walking a lot. Uh, yesterday we walked 19 miles in the rain, which I have to say wasn't particularly pleasant. Uh, today, thankfully, it's been much milder and dry. Uh, but another long day at over 16 miles, and it has certainly been very muddy, but through some absolutely fantastic countryside. Uh, the highlight for me was to celebrate an ecumenical Eucharist this morning, which was incredibly moving. The sight of um, a Catholic priest uh, next to an Anglican priest co-leading the service and feeling that we were honoring God by showing our joint ecumenical commitment, showing our joint love for creation by worshiping together. It felt absolutely right and it was incredibly moving. What else? Well, we've had fantastic, fantastic hospitality everywhere we've gone. Uh, I've never eaten so much in my life and so many wonderful cakes and homemade soups. And um, I've certainly decided that the two most important things in life, other than good boots for a pilgrim, are one, chocolate. We are so grateful for everyone who gives us lovely handouts of chocolates, particularly late in the afternoon when we are flagging. And the other thing is showers. After yesterday's hard slog, uh, I understand that Tear Fund was busy behind the scenes trying to organize showers for all the pilgrims and a nice hot shower after a long 19 mile walk feels fantastic. So we are being treated extremely well, we are doing well, we're gelling well as a group and having a great time. So um, onward to Paris and onward to Brighton tomorrow.